I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hello. I uh, decided I was going to do a, uh, you know, more of a first-hand video. I don't know if that's the right word. But anyway, rather than editing my clips from the trip together, uh, I thought I would do a sort of an after-the-fact um, talk about the trip. Um, and I'll probably make maybe one or two more, not, no more than that, because I'm kind of... Uh, I'm realizing that I don't want to make this, you know, you know when you have to go over to somebody's house and you have to watch... Um, their vacation video or vacation slides and um, I don't want to make it like that so I'm, I'm trying to sort of avoid that level of you know people just being nice and watching it um, but really it kind of being lame uh, there was a the, the, sh the TV show was that it's always sunny in Philadelphia when the guy said uh, about watch looking at other people's photographs said what is it if I'm not in them and nobody's naked I really could care less, so I'm, um, you know, that rule does hold true. So I um, just thought I'd do a just a before I get, you know post another video about the trip. I just to talk about the trip a little bit. Um, so we were we went to the the trip was to to study Kasatoshi Island, which was a uh, major bird nesting area, bird feeding area until the volcano blew up, um, which actually increased the size of the island somewhat significantly. Um, now it's this big, big, I guess, cinder cone. I don't know if that's the right word. But anyway, it blew the top off of it, but it, it redeposited everything all around the mountain or around the island. And um, we were looking at... Uh, I, my, my portion of it, being an invertebrate zoologist, was to see what how the bottom, you know, because a lot of these birds, you know, they dive and swim around and eat stuff. And so we were looking at what kind of plankton was out there, what kind of bottom invertebrates or fish were present, what kind of food there was for the birds. And we studied, uh, we went to three islands. Uh, we went to Ulak, which is just just west of Adak, or east of Adak, I'm sorry. And we went to Kasatochi, and then we went to Kanuji, um, which is sort of, they're all sort of in a, more or less of a straight line um, in the Bering Sea. Anyway, so the the two sites, uh, Kanuji and Ulak, were sort of like controls. We were sort of looking at what the, what the bottom stuff looked like in a place not affected by the volcano, and then we looked at, at um, Kasatoshi itself to see what was affected and it, it was really really fascinating um we got uh i mean we we actually at one point in time we had a bad bottom trawl we used a, a bottom big beam trawl I'll, I'll put up a video um when i when i do my uh clips from the sh from the trip um put put on a bottom trawl and we got rocks pumice rocks like that big around i mean literally like three or four big rocks that a human being should not have been able to lift, but they were still really heavy. But they were like light enough that you know you could lift them up and throw them overboard. But we got those rocks, and that was like just to imagine that those at one point in time were falling out of the sky because we were we were several hundred meters offshore, um, and those got caught in our trawl, and there was you know practically devoid of life on those on those rocks. It was pretty pretty neat stuff. I'm gonna watch my time here. Anyway, so I, I'm a little, uh, little, little hungover today. Um, had a, you know, being out at sea, not used to, not used to drinking at all, and had a few beers last night. So, eh, not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just a little. I may be dehydrated. Is better than hungover. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I want to say here? Um. I just I don't really have much again. I'm, I I will go back and I will edit all of those things. Um, I did want to explain what the trip was about. Now that I'm after the fact, I I up until like the day we were there in Adak, I really didn't know what I was going to be doing out here, out there in the uh, Western Aleutians. Um, got some you know 
and so now I understand what the trip was about. And now, you know, after talking to during what we, basically what we did is I worked night shift, so that we called it the fishing crew, although we, we were mostly invertebrate crew. But we um, were looking at the during the day they had bird watchers all uh, doing this monitoring where they were they were going transects up and down several different spots around the island and in all in our control sites. And what they were doing is counting and identifying all the birds. And during that time, of course, you know, we couldn't be doing anything that would affect the, those numbers. If you don't know that, um, a lot of these seabirds, like if you're, if you put a net in the water, they, they gather around, they, they flock around the boat, um, albatrosses and stuff like that. So you get a lot of, it, it, you'd get extraneous birds if we were doing it. So we couldn't fish while they were doing their transects. So we did all of our stuff at night. So at night we'd have to set our midwater trawl, bottom trawl. Um, usually in the mornings or so we'd do the uh, long line, although we, we only successfully got one long line in. Um, well, two, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> one, the one had nothing. Anyway, so you know we would do those things, and then um, so it was all at night, which which is it, itself pretty interesting. Wow, this this is kind of gonna be a boring video. I apologize in advance. Um, I I suppose I should probably just go back to editing <laughs> a couple of clips and show you some of the stuff we got because we we did get some really neat things. Um, well, neat to me. Maybe maybe not neat to the rest of the planet, but certainly neat to me. So um, I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.